Hey everybody, just got a quick overview of how the hardware works on this uh, chest pouch. So, it uses these little springless cord locks so it can slide. You can grab this and just slide it up where you want it. And it attaches up here with the lark's head through the splice loop. And then the other end has also has a, a loop on it. So that loop can be for like a flashlight or something that you want to have to be able to grab right here. So for example, I just got my little Gerber knife. So that can hang right there and then I can just reach up and grab it and use it. It would probably also be good for like a, a spoon or a stove igniter or something that you're going to want to use whenever you get into that contents of this. And then it comes off really easily. Just grab the mitten hook part right here and then slide the the loop out of it so it can it can hang over here and you can reach into it or you can also just take the whole take the whole bag off and uh, these these mitten hooks also will on snap from the adjuster so if you want to leave the mitten hook installed oops you want to leave the mitten hook installed on the bag so that you can clip the bag like somewhere else you know like you can clip it to the back of your backpack or something if you wanted to get get it off of here and then whenever you're ready to use it again just clip it back on and it'll just hang there until you're ready to deploy it again and if you're in pouring rain and you're concerned that this zipper is going to let some rain come in because the zipper is technically water resistant so you can just flip it hook it up backwards so now I'm going to pull my cord lock down slide this mitten hook through the loop and now my bag is installed backwards so now if there's any rain falling down it's just going to get deflected off of the waterproof shell and the zipper will be tucked underneath here so I can on clip and get the contents or if I want to let the contents just fall out I can flip it like that and do it like that so I pulled that shot cord through a little too far there we go anyways that's the uh, upside down increased rain resistant so the material is waterproof, the zipper is water resistant according to YKK, although it's pretty waterproof. But if you're worried about the droplets getting through where the zippers terminate, you can carry it like this and the contents will be waterproof. And if you don't need the mitten hook, like you want to keep the weight of this setup as small as possible, you can just take the mitten hook and unclip it from the hook to cord lock and now you got this little lightweight springless cord lock and you can feed it through the sewn loop here and it takes a little bit of effort but you can snap the sewn loop into that hook and now I just dropped it on the floor but now you have ultra minimalist setup because really you don't need that mitten hook it just adds a lot of convenience to it so you can take it off if you want it especially if you're planning to uh, keep this up here on your chest then you can get rid of it and whenever you do on snap if you take your pack and just throw your pack off and you forget about this the cord lock thing here is pretty strong but it'll just it'll just slide so it won't it won't damage your stuff or pull anything apart now the worst case scenario would be that you would pull this all the way off and in that case it's super easy you can just thread it back through and if you're concerned about it falling all the way off you can put a little knot in here or of course you can clip some piece of gear that you're going to use a little keychain light or something okay thanks for watching that's just a little overview of how this little hanging system works thanks